The Maine Bomb Initiative is a statewide effort to expand access to services for pregnant and postpartum people with substance use disorder. The goal is really to give them the support that they need so that they can succeed in their recovery and help them address any barriers that they might be encountering. Patients with substance use disorder experience stigma, but there is no group that experiences more stigma than the pregnant patient. This is a group of folks that is so shunned by society, even shunned by other people with substance use disorder, that I think they feel helpless, they feel alone. If they've been using substances for a long period of time, they may not be connected to the healthcare system. And part of it is really fear. They're thinking, you know, I know I need help, I want to get help, but where do I even begin? I think getting the word out there to other providers that this is a care model that they can deliver is hugely important. When I was arrested and in jail, that's when I found out I was pregnant with him. The first reaction I had to being introduced to Maine Mom was, oh, I can't do that. Um, I just have been so many, like gone to so many doctors and, you know, seen so many counselors and specialists or whatever, just, you know, people to help me. Um, and all it did was um, just like pile, pile things onto my plate rather than take them away. So I was, I was really scared and I was worried. I was like, I can't do this because that's what I thought me and mom was about, was just, you know, here's the resources, now go with it. But it's totally different than that. Um, it takes it much further. It's made recovery something that I don't dread. I don't really know of anyone else who helps moms in recovery the way we do. Our roles start early on when we first meet the mothers, um, whatever it is that they need. We also are integrated into a OB office, OBGYN office, so all your care is in one place. All main mom programs you know, have an MAT or MOUD prescriber, there's a substance use counselor, um, there's a perinatal provider of some kind. Um, there's a nurse care coordinator who kind of runs the whole thing. And then we also have peer support. So there's at least five members of the team, all with unique and different roles, experiences, that can support the mom wherever she's at. People come, you know, from any walk of life, any personal experience. It doesn't have to be that they had a baby. If they had a recent pregnancy and they had a miscarriage or a termination, they're still welcome to enroll in Maine Mom. We want to support them. And the most important sort of reference point in, I think, is really educating folks in the community that this exists and that we will treat people with respect that they deserve. These people do care and they are going to help you. It's not an if or maybe. Like they are going to help you and they will help you so that you can help yourself. They can make it. They can do it. Um, I have seen grit. I have seen feistiness. And for like Amanda, I, I, you know, there may have been days in the early, early on where she just wasn't sure, like, let alone what this was going to be, but like, would I be able to parent? Will I be able to bring home my child? Um, and all of us sitting here today is exactly what this program is about, exactly. I think we're successful because we understand substance use disorders. And the one thing that, you know, when patients say it to me, it means is incredibly powerful to me is that, you know, you're the first person who treated me like any other pregnant patient. Um, and that's always surprising to me because I'm like, you are any other pregnant patient. You know, you have a treatable chronic disease, which could be depression, it could be diabetes, it could be substance use disorder. Why would we treat you any differently? But I know that it happens and I, you know, I read the notes and I see the experiences people have in other settings, um, and it's heartbreaking. I feel like Maine Mom has made all the difference um, in my recovery, um, in what, what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, I don't think without it that I would be here right now at all. We're excited to have anyone join us uh, on the initiative. There's lots of opportunities, I think, even if people think, I want to do this work, but maybe I'm not super experienced, that's okay. You know, there's, there's clinical support that's available, and, um, you know, we're here to help anyone who's interested in providing the care. I think being able to be part of life-changing events and help people in a way that no one has ever helped them before is incredibly powerful and really rewarding, and I'm just grateful to be able to do it.